guys, we are back and we are doing a Beatles song today. And which one is it? So it's called Now and Then, I believe. So okay. it was just released. Yeah, it's called Now and Then. Um, it was just released and it's the last Beatles song ever. Apparently there was um, audio uh, from John Lennon from I don't know what year. And over the decades since he died, the Beatles were um, playing instruments. And then just last week, they the song was released. So, I mean, George Harrison's dead. So yeah. he had to do his, obviously, before he died. Yeah. And then Paul McCartney and Ringo are still alive. So That's yeah. so interesting. Yeah. So this is like a song that's been being worked on for, I don't know, 40 years at least you know so it should be really really good then <laughs> yeah so i don't know i haven't listened to it yet um yeah i don't know anything about it so okay. we will listen i know you're not a big beatles fan you no. know i'm a i like i like them more than you do I like but george harrison yeah you are a big george harrison solo fan yeah i actually like some beatles stuff but we'll say i don't know how i feel about this it's I, i'm picturing it being disjointed if you're getting audio from 30 years ago and then modern music so i don't know we'll see they could just make it all sound mm. like the same yeah there's apparently a music video which who knows what's in it but we'll see okay sounds good all okay. right and this video is sponsored by carnivore snacks Carnivore Snacks is my absolute favorite meat snack ever and one of my favorite snacks ever. This is the lamb shoulder. I'll show you what it looks like. They have a bunch of different kinds. Here's the lamb shoulder. See? It's like you can see the fat on there, the marbling. And it's perfectly salted. It's not too much salt. It's literally just the right amount of salt. And the sliders are all my favorite. You should definitely check out the lamb sliders if you've never tried any of these before. Those are my absolute favorite. And if you scroll up, you will see that it is Joe Rogan's favorite snack. He promotes these as well. And he loves them. And he has great taste in meat. And we can both attest that they are absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't tried them before, you really, really should. You can use our coupon code with Smith for 15% off your first purchase. And the link is in the description below. We are also sponsored by SeatGeek, which is a great website to get tickets, whether it be for concerts, sporting events, comedians, Broadway shows, literally anything you can think of, they have it. And you can click the link below and it should populate with your area. And you can see a whole bunch of great things yeah. going on right now. Like, look, there's Billy Joel at Madison Square Garden doing his farewell tour because he's about to move out of New York. So many other great things going on. Definitely check that out because then you can use our coupon code with Smith for $20 off your first purchase. And the link is in the description below as well. Mm. Follow us on social media channels and if you want to. And that's it. So I pulled up the lyrics because this is actually a music video. Luck oh, so, okay. So, yeah, they released the music video. So, but I'm on Genius and there's a little an a little info about the song. So I'm going to read this real quick. It says, Now and Then was originally a demo written and recorded in 1977 by formal Beatles member John Lennon. It is the final song released under the name of The Beatles, featuring contributions from the entire quartet, including John Lennon and George Harrison, even years after their passing. Oh, wow. The song was initially intended for release in 1995 during the remastering sessions for the Beatles anthology, but could not be completed. That's the word I was thinking of, remastering, because then it would all sound the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, during <laughs> the remastering <laughs> sessions, it's okay. Uh, the remastering sessions for the Beatles anthology, but could not be completed due to tech technology limitations of the time preventing proper vocal extraction decades later with the help of cutting edge ai software sir ringo Starr and sir paul mccartney were able to properly separate the vocal tracks from john lennon's original demo and place them over their own musical recordings so that each of the four band members can contribute to this final song interesting so there's ai involved in here interesting yeah All pretty right. cool so Maybe we'll pause it once 
There's not crazy lyrics in I mean, here. And you don't even know where 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 a good place to pause is going to be. Just pause it whenever you feel appropriate. I'll, I'll pause it about halfway through and see. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Now and then. cool because they're splicing like John Lennon and George Harrison and then like also with them I'm gonna say that was 1995 right like this. no no this looks modern this looks like present day to me well the other one when Paul McCartney has like the black hair, hair. Yeah, yeah that looks, that's like looks 1995 that looks like about that but then, then they're like putting them like the they 60s. just had him, I think ninety five with Ringo, which is today. Is that Ringo today? So this is okay. So this like, is this modern is day Paul, today. and that's George from yeah. I don't know seventies. Way maybe. back when this is the four of them. Yeah, he was moving way too. F- oh, he was moving way too fast John. for the song. <laughs> so he wasn't yeah. playing this song. No, know I, I mean? know, but I'm saying that's why I should have so- picked. <laughs> so weird, <laughs> and George. Yeah. Um, so, okay. There's a few things I want to say so far. Oh yeah. This is modern day. Cause that's his whole outfit. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, 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 a little bit of my concern of something not meshing with audio from the seventies. So I do feel like it's, it doesn't sound like any other Beatles song. Obviously it sounds modern, which I don't, it get is that. But what I do want to say is John's vocals are great. Like, I really do like them. So he's he's singing constantly. Um, he has the, the refrain. Paul sings along with him in the chorus. I think it's, like, really beautiful. The um, I know it's true. It's all because of you. And if I make it through, it's all because of you. Yeah, it's kind of, like, really interesting. Yes. The sentiment because John and George are both dead. And they made this song before they even knew that that – I mean, they wouldn't have known that would happen. So that's what I was going to say. Which it's kind of eerie, especially with yeah. the visuals. It's like it's almost like they made this as a tribute song to John and George. But they're right? on it and it always existed. Yeah. So it's, it's now and then I miss you. Oh, now and then I want to be there. 
I want you to be there for me and always return to me. It seems like this is a song made for John when he died, but like a tribute a, song, but it's not. Yeah. So the lyrics are real quick. It's just one, two, three, Paul McCartney. Then the refrain is John Lennon. I know it's true. It's all because of you. And if I make it through, it's all because of you. Then verse one is John Lennon. And then John Lennon and Paul McCartney. And now and then, if we must start again, well, we will know for sure that I will love you. So it kind of sounds like it's if we put like the theory of how it's eerie aside and mm-hmm. we just look at it like it sounds like it's about a relationship and how they lost this person and they want to get back with them. Yeah, I wonder who you wrote it about. And then, yeah, now and then I miss you. Oh, now and then I want you to be there for me. Always return to me. And then verse two, which is the last thing we heard is, I know it's true. It's all because of you. And if you go away, I know you'll never stay. So I wonder if this is to Yoko. You know what I mean? He was, I believe, still with her at the time. Yeah, he was, he died with her. Um, so I don't know if it's his love song to her. And I, I guess if she was ever contemplating leaving him, although I have hard time believing that. <laughs> yeah. She was like... Always there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ever see the footage of... Yeah, she's just always she's in, them, she's always there, and playing which with, is cute. With, I mean, if that's their relationship, that's the relationship they have. You ever see the footage of John playing with Chuck Berry, and then Yoko's on stage, so they're like rocking out, and like Chuck Berry was like one of John's idols, and then Yoko's just on the mic, literally going, "Hi," doing her scream thing, literally, and you see Chuck Berry's face. He's like, "What?" <laughs> no, it's, it's but I'm good funny. on that. I'm gonna show it to you. It's very funny. Okay. All right, so this is where we left off. We'll finish up the song, and then you know. Any more observations and thoughts we'll talk about. But this is, I meant to say, this is better sounding than I thought it would. It does sound odd to me. Yeah, I don't pick up on the oddness, though. Okay, here we go. cool yeah it was really cool i when when ringo was on the drums and then was it george or john i don't remember but one of them started coming went up to him and played the drums but it was like modern day ring ringo and then one of them's playing the drums and that was pretty so i'm I'm (laughs) confused how much is like this john lennon right I don't know if this is John Lennon from a video performance that they have in the past and then they're using AI to make him move and do stuff, right? Or if it's completely made up AI. If it's made up, it's really not to the beat of the song. So I think so it's it, not made up. It's from something I that already think. happened. Yeah. So this is this one this made me laugh. This is yeah. Paul. <laughs> but this is Paul also. 
<laughs> That's why I was laughing. I was like, this is Paul next to himself. That's funny. With, with I believe this is George. I can't tell there. But yeah. That's George. John. Paul. <laughs> so this is Ringo with Ringo. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I feel like if you were like a Beatles oh, fan yeah. and you grew up with them watching this video, it would probably make you cry. So, yeah, I, I was even getting a little emotional. It doesn't have that same as like our parent age. Yeah. So I, I think you're right. I think this is Ringo with young Ringo, <laughs> both of them playing the drums. And That's then so this funny. looks like it's George over here. Um, There's Paul behind Paul. And he's like taking, it's funny, it like he, looks like it's real. Yeah. So yeah, I don't this this is what you're talking about, you think is ninety five, right? From earlier in the video. Yeah. That's what I thought. So this is cool. They're going back, they're in their Sgt. Pepper's clothes. It must have been when they first tried to do this song and then realized they had to wait. They look like Amish or Hasidic right here, both of them. Yeah. It's interesting. Those are really cool flowers, whatever those are. The pink. <laughs> Interesting. They caught my eye. It was like, what are those? Strawberry fields? I doubt it. Mm. So I will say I like this part, them showing their early. It, it's almost like this last portion of the video. They're moving backwards in time to like Benjamin Button. Yeah, like they're younger. I couldn't even figure out who was who in those photos. I know. They're like getting. Like, when like the really young ones, when they're doing one photo at a time, I was like, I have no idea who. So who's who? <laughs> I so I could be wrong here. I'm sure there's non chronological things mixed in, but from this point on, it looks like okay, this is the oldest they were, and then it's like okay, they're a little younger here, a little younger, a little younger. Then they go back to that. Looks like maybe it's the fucking um, f in sorry, I shouldn't curse. <laughs> there's no curses in here. The um, wow, why am I blanking? Their first concert. The Ed Sullivan show. Uh, the first time they were on America. And they're super, they're probably not even very. They're probably not even famous like, there. I don't even know. This recognize. is John. This is definitely John. Who that? <laughs> like here, I was like, wait, are these them? Or are they showing us random people? Like, I really don't. That looks like Paul. That. I, I guess that's Ringo. Yeah, they're that's They're laughing at us who know exactly it's who John. they are. I know. They, then they get into the young photos, and there's no way I'm guessing that. And he's just the girls going crazy, and this is them. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so there was barely any lyrics left. We left off with the second verse. Then it's just, now and then I miss you. Oh, and now and then I want you to be there for me. And then, uh, 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 ooh, ooh. Um, and then it sort of repeats, right? Yep. And it's all similar sentiment. It's kind of like missing someone and wishing like you could be back with them. Yeah. Or in the one verse, knowing that they'll always be together, saying like, if, yeah. you, if you go away, you'll never stay, like stay away. So, yeah. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like the music video is kind of what makes it though. Like if you love the Beatles, I feel like, You'll miss out a lot if you don't watch, if you don't listen to the song with the music video. So this does, this does not sound like a typical Beatles song to me, at least to me. Um, it's very obvious, obvious that the music is modern, right? And we're not used to modern Beatles because they haven't been together in, you know, whatever, 40, 50 years. Um, so to, I'm not a Beatles fan. I don't really listen to their music. Like I'm familiar with their music though. To me, it sounds like it. It just sounds like it's been like remastered and updated. Yeah. So like the, transforms, the, but it sounds like the words sound like the Beatles. Beatles for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's good though. It's it's better than I anticipated. You know, it's pretty cool and it's interesting to know. Most bands don't know. I guess they already thought they did that, but this is the last. Beatles song ever you know yeah. what I mean like you usually don't know that this is going to be our last song together like but this is it that they're never going to be a new Beatles song released no yeah, yeah it's very nice what they did it's like very sweet it's yeah very, it was the video very cool it is for sure yeah yeah so it was good yeah I agree so definitely check out Carnivore Snacks Sea Geek like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon oh the last thing I was going to say before oh. we go I mentioned, I think this was a, could have been about Yoko Ono. No Yoko in the video. Very interesting. Not a single shot of her. I don't... <laughs>
Uh, let us know who you think. Yeah, this who's is it about? about? We don't know. All right, because we'll they were like obsessed with each other. Yeah, at least to my knowledge, the rest of them were not obsessed. With oh them. well, yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye.